A man who shot two Kern County Sheriff's deputies near the Jawbone Canyon area is still on the loose tonight. And that manhunt has led to shutdowns for several schools in the Weldon area, all due to law enforcement activity. Starting tomorrow, Paiute Mountain Elementary, South Fork Elementary, and South Fork Middle Schools will be closed until further notice. Again, their search continues tonight in Jawbone County, which is along Highway 14, about 20 miles north of Mojave. The area is closed to the public right now as officials continue with their search. And to give us a look at what's been going on there today, we go to 23 ABC's Stephen Hicks, who's reporting from Weldon. Well, Gracie, it's a much quieter scene here at the staging area. Very few officers standing by like they were earlier today. But all of the action, we're told, is taking place 25 miles south of here as they continue to search for that suspect tonight with different tactics. Mojave Desert, an officer warns residents of danger up ahead. Humvees replace police cars. Assault rifles replace handguns. All to try and find a man who shot at sheriff's deputies last night and is suspected of killing a 64-year-old man earlier this week. Deputies and a Bakersfield police SWAT team were conducting a search for a suspect in rural outbuildings near the intersection of Jawbone Canyon and Kelso Valley Road. A bullet grazed the ear of Deputy Jose Perez, but a shot to the shoulder sent 40-year-old Deputy Mike Michael Booker to the hospital. He is now in stable condition. As the search continues, police change their strategy. Due to the darkness in the area, deputies who have the night vision goggles will be utilizing that equipment. Close to where the suspect is at large, with their gates open, is the Native Springs Oasis. Its owner, David Sandoval, says it's usually a peaceful valley, but he isn't shocked by the news. Jawbone Canyon connects you know, the 14 to the 178, so it's a natural thought that you could escape in this valley. It's so rugged, it's so rural. He runs a healing retreat and nature preserve, but today he had to evacuate his 10 guests. He and two others armed themselves and decided to stay the night. We've been walking the perimeter, we've been making sure that this area is secure, and we just let the local authorities know that, you know, that we've got at least this area we got their back. A number of different agencies are assisting in this search. Night vision from Orange County, armored personnel carriers from Ridgecrest and California City, and helicopters from LA Sheriff's Office. Due to the rugged and desolate surrounding terrain, police feel confident he is in that enclosed search area. For now, the information that we have is that he's possibly still contained in that area, and we will um, put those search efforts in that area until we get further information. And residents in the area are encouraged to stay inside their homes and lock the doors because this suspect is considered to be armed armed and extremely dangerous. He's described as a white male between 30 to 35 years old with long brown hair. Anyone with information is encouraged to call the police. In Weldon tonight, Stephen Hicks, 23 ABC.